Hey Brick Fanatics! Now, as we edge ever closer to the imminent release of the awesomely impressive LEGO Star Wars 75313 Ultimate Collector's Series 8080, we thought we'd answer some of your most burning questions, such as how much space will I need to display it? How long will it take me to build? And the most important question of all, is it bigger than a dog? Better make yourself comfortable as we take a look at the 16 questions you want answered. Why 16? Because 10's boring and we haven't got enough time for 20. Number one, what is it actually called? This may seem like an obvious question, but just like tomatoes and tomatoes, there is a proper way of pronouncing this vehicle. Is it ATAT or is it ATAT? -AT? Well, according to a 2010 interview with Lucasfilm, the correct pronunciation is in fact ATAT. -AT. Makes sense, really. I mean, after all, this isn't an ATSTA, it's an ATST. And this famous guy isn't called R2 D2, it's R2 D2. I think that's cleared that up. Number two, how big is it? Short answer, massive. Actual answer, it's 27 centimeters wide, that's from foot to foot, 69 centimeters long, and 62 centimeters tall. One of our subscribers actually asked us how long is it from back foot to front foot, and not being one to disappoint our fans, I can tell you it's long. 42 centimetres. Question 3. How much does it weigh? Well, with everything contained in the box, it weighs 12.4 kilograms. On its own, it's not quite that heavy, but it's still a very sizeable object to hold in your hands. <sighs> Number 4. How many pieces does it have? To build everything included within the set, that's the 8080 itself, the two snow speeder bikes and the eWeb blaster, it requires a whopping 6,785 pieces. That figure makes it the second largest LEGO Star Wars set of all time, and at the time of this video, it's also the fifth largest set that LEGO have ever produced, only being beaten by the UCS Falcon, the Colosseum, newly released Titanic, and of course the 11,695 piece world map. But we all know that doesn't really count, does it? Number five, how long will the build take? Personally, it took me two and a half days to tackle this beast, but that does include the time it took me to write down my thoughts and to take some pictures of the build in progress. For those who are building this purely for the love of Lego, I think you'll be looking at around 15 hours to complete it. That's enough time to watch Empire Strikes Back seven times, with a little leftover to watch the pitiful attempt The Last Jedi made at recreating the Battle of Hoth. No, it's not snow, it's salt. Massive difference. Number six, how big is it compared to other LEGO 8080s? Now we're getting to the good stuff. I'm not lucky enough to own every one, but I do have the two most recent to hand. That's the adorable and fairly detailed for its size micro fighter that was part of 75298-8080 versus Tauntaun and the larger 75288-8080. Putting them side by side, you can see the poor little micro fighter isn't even as big as this monster's foot and 75298 doesn't even compare to this thing's legs. It is utterly gargantuan, and putting these two models next to it really does highlight just how big a model it really is. Number seven, what LEGO Snowspeeder is the correct scale? Speaking of scale, you might be interested to know that 75259 Snowspeeder 20th Anniversary Edition is almost the perfect scale to sit next to the mighty 8082. It even looks good being crushed underfoot. And rather impressively, this 8080 can support its weight just standing on three legs too. Although personally, I wouldn't recommend it for too long. Number eight, how poseable is it? Thanks to some ingenious engineering and this rather nifty little imperial wrench, it's actually possible to get the 8080 into a number of different poses. Although obviously you're always battling gravity, so you won't be able to get too exotic with its positioning. But it's nice to know you have the option of trying out some different looks. Number nine, what other poses can it be placed into? And trying out some of those poses is exactly what we're gonna do now. Can this thing stand on two legs? And can it collapse forward as if it's just been taken out by a plucky rebel in their snowspeeder? 
Let's find out. By the way, I haven't tried this yet, so this could all go horribly, horribly wrong. The weight of it is just too, you, can, you can't sense it on camera, but the weight of that pushing down on that entire front section is just, it, you can feel the whole thing with just absolutely, you, know, you can see it starting to go now. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I would say the answer to that question is no, no it can't. You can get it into some quite cool poses, but I think trying to recreate everything from the Empire Strikes Back is probably not a good idea, unless you want to spend most of your afternoon picking up pieces from the Ultimate Collector Series 8080. Number 10. How does it look to a minifigure? Well, we gave little Luke here a camera to show you. Now that is impressive. Number 11. How many minifigures can fit inside? 40 minifigures can comfortably fit seated inside the cavernous interior, but how many can fit if they were all standing? If you use stud connections, 85 minifigures can fit comfortably standing up. And what if we just completely ignored the health and safety of these poor little minifigures and just chucked in as many as we could? So that's 40 minifigures we managed to get seated, as intended. 85 were standing, you could probably get more, but I made sure that each one was actually connected to a stud. Or like us, you could throw caution to the wind, be completely reckless, and dump 185 minifigures inside that interior. Number 12, is it fragile? Some Lego sets are robust and are meant to be played with. Others are designed to be looked at fondly and never ever be touched by anyone, ever. But where does 75313 UCS 8080 fit in that spectrum? Well, amazingly, it's actually pretty sturdy. I mean, I've been shifting this thing around for the last couple of weeks and really the only bits that fall off are the little side gun parts here, this little piece here, which is actually only connected by one single stud, and uh, weirdly, this little bit here. And that's it really, not only does this thing look like a devastating, impenetrable beast, it actually is as well. Impressive. Number 13, how accurate is it? Looking at it side by side with a still from The Empire Strikes Back, and it's clear to see the designers nailed the authenticity as much as they succeeded in every other department. From the side laser guns, the detailing on the fuselage, the legs, the feet, pretty much every area of this AT-AT is incredibly authentic to its on-screen counterpart. And now time for the most important question of all, is this bigger than a dog? Well, if it's my dog, then yes it is. And seeing as my dog is bigger than a cat, that also answers that question too. So just to be clear, yes it's bigger than a dog, depending on what size your dog is, and yes it's bigger than a cat. Unless you have a pet tiger. But number 15, can you take it for a walk? No, no you can't. Number 16, where can it be displayed? And finally, after you've spent hours lovingly constructing your brand new UCS 8080, the next stage is of course, where do I display it? I wouldn't recommend a desk, unless you plan on never using it for work ever again. It's probably not ideal sitting in a doorway. The dining room table is probably big enough, just don't expect to eat any meals there for a while. And if you plan on making some space for it, just make sure your partner doesn't see you move their carefully arranged stuff out the way. I got into quite a bit of trouble for that one, even though it does look blooming brilliant. i tell you one thing though, it makes for a perfect footstool, especially when there's something decent to watch on the telly. Ah, perfect. And that's it. Did we answer the question you most want answered? If not, leave a comment down below and we'll do our very best to get back to you. Please support the work we do by purchasing your copy of 75313 UCS 8080 using our affiliate links below. Please do the usual YouTube like, subscribe and share. And remember, for all your LEGO news, reviews and more, head over to BrickFanatics.com now. Even better, sign up for our newsletter and never, 
ever miss anything LEGO related ever again. I'll see you next time.